Good morning. I'm Chad Henze. Welcome to the fourth Sunday of Lent. As discussed in the previous Lenten testimonials, we're focusing on giving out instead of giving up this year. In previous weeks, Heather spoke about giving out to ourselves. Jody and Grayson discussed giving out to our families, and Cindy gave us some beautiful reflections on giving out to our neighbors. So when I was asked to reflect on giving out to our church, I thought, this is really difficult. If I was asked to define church, I would likely to be likely to use the words self, family, and neighbor. But I think I've found a distinction, so hang in there with me. I want to take you back to an early COVID memory that I've been thinking about as we pass one year of the pandemic. I pulled into the parking lot at church to pick up Ella from Faith Journey class. As I drove in, I saw Don, a friend from First Church, standing next to his truck with a camera on a tripod. He seemed to be waiting for something to happen. When he noticed me, he walked over to my car. Neither of us was wearing a mask. That was when the science was still telling us they weren't really necessary. He said, hey, Chad, and stuck out his elbow. We gave the COVID elbow bump and joked that, I guess this is what we do now having no clue that we'd still be doing that and so much more, or actually less, I guess, a year later. Don proceeded to explain that the moon was going to rise over the trees to the east, just as the sun was setting in the west. The moon was close to the earth and it was going to be spectacular. But this was just a practice run to get everything lined up because it was going to be even more amazing the following evening. We'll come back to Don in a minute. As many of you know, I'm an engineer. So humor me while I share a brief engineering lesson on feedback control systems. There are two primary types of control systems, open loop and closed loop. Let's use an example. If the cruise control in your car was an open loop system and you told it that you wanted to go 65 miles per hour, it would set the accelerator to the angle that it predetermined would make your car go about 65 miles per hour. It might check that the accelerator was actually at that position, but that's the end of the story. So what happens if you go up or down a hill? Fortunately, your cru cruise control is a closed loop feedback control system. It sets the accelerator at that same angle, but then it checks to see that the car is going 65 miles an hour, adjusts the angle, checks again, and so on. I want to suggest that giving out to our church is a closed loop feedback system. When we donate money to the church, we don't do so and simply ask Roger if our check made it into the account. We directly see the impact the money is having on ourselves, our church community, and the larger community of neighbors around us. Better still, we get to close the loop and directly participate in how that money is used. When we give our time to the church, it inevitably comes back to us in pride, satisfaction, and as Cindy put it, that feeling that you get in your heart when you know you've brightened someone else's day. And if the feedback control system is working right, the result is more giving. My personal favorite form of feedback that comes from giving out to our church community is a seemingly simple one. Smiles, handshakes, and hugs. Coffee hour and the 10 minutes from 9.55 to 10.05 while Denny and Sandra are trying to settle us down for the service are the best. And the great part of that feedback is that it comes from the simplest possible kind of giving out to our church, just being present for each other. So that brings me back to Don. Look out, Don. I still haven't gotten that handshake we, re we replaced with an elbow bump. And by the time we get there, it's probably going to be a hug instead. Last year, South Church moved the offering plates to the back of the church to gather our offerings as we left the sanctuary rather than passing them during the service. To remind us of this, Elliot crafted a few sentences for the deacons to share prior to the benediction each Sunday. I will leave you with those words that so eloquently express just how simple it is to give out to our church. There are a thousand ways to live into our commitment to this community, as our benediction reminds us. If you are able to make a donation, there is a collection plate when you leave the sanctuary. If you are not, your presence here is a gift in and of itself. Thank you for being a part of us today.